time guys Ifan back again with another video and in, this is going to be a very uh, short video just a quick tip that I'm going to show you how to do um, if you ever want to have a button on your in an Excel sheet that allow an Excel workbook that allows you to switch between sheets um, so th this video is going to show you how to do that how to actually create a, a button here that when you click on it, it you know switches to another sheet on the same workbook so let's get started so for the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and ins uh, add another sheet to this uh, workbook okay by clicking on this uh, plus sign here okay now i've got two sheets here on sheet one and then i've got sheet two on sheet one what i'll do is i will uh, create a button when i click it the sheet will switch to sheet two Okay, now why we, would you want to do that? Uh, maybe you want to have uh, create a, a, a menu system in your in, in a, a worksheet. I'll I'll show you an example that I've I've done for you know for somebody I know. Um, but let, let's first uh, see how that how how do we go about creating the button and then the uh, simple VBA code that goes uh, behind the scene to actually make it all work. Okay. So you click on the develop tab, insert button. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And it's automatically going to ask you for the uh, macro name. Uh, you can leave it as it is, or what you can do is, uh, what I usually like to do is make these names um, more logical. Okay, so go to sheet two. That was what the macro is going to be and you see how it always has picked up the name and here is what we'll do is just a simple one line code work sheets and then within parentheses sheet 2 dot activate oops okay and I'm going to close this and that is it. If I click on but on this button, we will we switch to sheet two. There you go. That's sheet two has become your your, your this sheet that you're looking at right now. So uh, I'm just going to do another create another button just to sh show you exactly. And this time I'll try and go a little slower. So develop a tab, insert, and a button. And here you get the drawing tool. I'm just gonna hold it down and create whatever size of the button you want. Okay. As soon as you let go of the button, uh, the mouse button, this uh, prompt uh, opens up and it's asking for your macro name. Like I said, I usually like to give it a more, you know, a name that makes more sense to me. So I'm gonna switch to sheet two. Uh, just remember in the name you cannot have you cannot have any spaces okay uh, you know you and you can't have any dashes so you need uh, to use underscores click on new and work sheets in bracket within parentheses the sheet name So now I'm going to click on this and I've been switched to sheet 2. So that's uh, how easy it is. Now let me show you an example of why you would want to do that. Let me just quickly see if I can open up. So this is a sheet that I've done for, you know, for somebody I know. Now the what I've done is uh, just like over here I had set up this button I'm using this the same style of buttons to create a menu. Okay, let's go, go ahead and close this file. We don't need it anymore. Okay, um, so Rick, there are different uh, options available. So when you click on any one of these, it switches to that particular sheet. Say, for example, you want to go to the order analysis, click on this button here, 
and you have insist to auto analysis sheet you click on main menu it takes you back so these are all the buttons that have been created using the same technique that i just showed you all right uh, i hope you like this video and if you did kindly give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more videos like this uh, please subscribe and also if you could click on the bell icon uh, YouTube would automatically uh, send you updates when I upload new videos. Thank you very much.